Hey kids, it's me, Tony Holmherm, the singing diva of Long Island. If you enjoy videos where you get to see me create a fabulous drag look, well then guess what? You've tuned in to the right channel. So today's theme is Perceptive Pisces, because that is the palette that I decided to play with today, my She Glam Perceptive Pisces palette from their Zodiac collection. Uh, I've done a few looks with these Zodiac palettes, and uh, some have been really good, and uh, one was, you know, sort of meh. So um, we're going to see what happens today with the Pisces palette. Um, I think you may have a guess already as to what you think my thoughts are on it, but I will tell you everything at the end of the video, not in the beginning. I mean, otherwise, there's not much point in you watching the whole video, right? I mean, come on. So anyway, I figured we're almost in Pisces season, as it were, so I would create a Pisces-themed look with this palette and uh, a few other things, a few other goodies from my makeup collection. And uh, I don't really have too much to say. I think what I'm going to do is uh, just roll the camera back in time and uh, show you how I created today's Perceptive Pisces drag look. Stay tuned. Okay, and I'm back. I uh, glued my eyebrows down, base foundation, did new eyebrows, which I did completely freehand, and... Uh, not too bad, if I if I do say so myself. You know, we're trying, we're trying. Um, I almost think I started them too high. Now now that I'm looking at them, but it is what it is. So you know, every every time you do the brows, it's like it's almost like a new experience. But uh, yes, now I'm like I'm like thinking about it, and I'm like, yeah. We started those. We started those brows too high. I should have started them where the the real brow starts, and I would have had more of an angle too. But it's a, it's a learning process. So anyway, uh, time to get into a look. I don't think I'm doing anything too too crazy because I've got like a really special lash that I want to use, and uh, so I, here I have my She Glam Perceptive Pisces palette now. It's a beautiful teal color story, um, but um, I don't know if it's going to have quite enough depth to it. So, you know, just for the sake of making sure I get a look that I'm really happy with, I said, you know what, I'll pull a couple other She Glam palettes that I've already used. Um, for instance, the, the Capricorn, which I wasn't too crazy about. This one... Um, Unlike the Pisces, which is very mid-tone, this is, um, it's, it's very dark. It didn't really have a lot of brightness, so I think I could probably, um, incorporate some of the darker tones from this, uh, into the Pisces, and if that's not dark enough, uh, I do have the Wretched Romance palette, and, uh, the great thing about it is, um, it's got a black. And you can always use you can always use black when it comes to a drag look. So I have these palettes um, to help if we need it. So uh, let's just um, start with the uh, the darkest color, Neptune. Let's just start putting some of that down and see what happens. Oh, by the way, I used. Um, I thought I'd try this um, liner. Well, it's it's called a primer, but really you can use it as a liner. Uh, the Beck issue, BK, it's uh, available on Amazon. It's very cheap, like four or five bucks. But I, I said, let me put that down as a as a white base, you know, just to see, because I really want the the teals to really pop. Okay, we just gotta. Find out those creases. I always crease. I'm sure a lot of you do too. That happens to a lot of us. Okay, so let's see how this color Neptune looks. I think it's going to be pretty, 
pigmented. Because the, the mattes in these little palettes are really, really good, I, I have to admit. And, uh, yeah, that's looking... That's looking pretty good, I, I have to admit. Hmm, not bad at all. All right, so let's just keep going with that. And set that down in our crease. I may need to deepen it a little bit. That's pretty, that's pretty good, I have to admit. Looks pretty good, but I, I think it really should be a little deeper. Yeah, it looks pretty good, but it, it it's going to need to be deeper for me to, you know, cr create a really defined cut crease. So I'm going to hop into the Capricorn palette, and I'm going to try using this color Worldly to deepen up Neptune, and uh, let's just try it. Yeah, that looks a lot better. That gave me some nice depth in the crease area. And I'm going to hop back into Neptune because I don't want to lose the uh, teal color. I just wanted it deeper. It's looking really good. Okay, let me do the same on the other side. Okay, so I got some really nice depth uh, on both eyes uh, using some of, of that color worldly from the uh, Capricorn palette. It's funny because I really wasn't crazy about the look I created with the Capricorn palette, but uh, using it to deepen up the Pisces palette is working really nice. But uh, let's start blending out some of these darker colors. And I'm gonna hop back to the Pisces palette and I think I'm going to go in with this color Mysterious to start. I'm using the same brush. I just color switched it off. Why? I don't know. Just lazy today. What is this anyway? It's a Morphe M330. It's just a nice, big, fluffy brush. And uh seems to be working good for this look that we're doing right now so good enough for me that looks good now i'm going to hop into uh i think this color gentle i think i need a little bit of a smaller brush that looks really nice I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to do a little bit of blending. I'm going to do the same on the other side and uh, cut the crease, and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I, uh, I cut my crease. I did it by uh, removing some of the pigment with my uh, uh, Neutrogena oil-free makeup remover and Q-tip. And then went in with um, some of this uh, white eyeshadow primer. Um, and I think it's okay. Now I've just been trying to decide what to do on the lid, what to do on the lid. Um... So I think for starters, I'm going to set the area with this color Idealist, which is, it's a very sort of bright white. And I just want to see what that does. I'm going to still go over the area with some shimmers from this palette, because it does have some really nice shimmers. And um, let's just see what happens. But I want to put this down as a base.
Okay, I have to say, that went down really, really nicely. I mean, uh, honestly, I could just blend out this uh, uh, edge at the uh, um, corner, um, do a liner and a lash, and that would be that would be perfect for for a look. Um, I don't know if it if it maybe was this this primer because it it has a nice tacky quality to it and the uh the matte shadow adhered to it really really nicely um it almost looks a little neon i'm like you know there's nothing and the, and there it is and uh you know having that depth uh in the crease just gave that nice sharp division so um looking really nice but of course you know i want to use some more colors in the palette i do want to try some of these shimmers especially um this green and this blue um the green is called intuitive see look at that and the blue is called psychic really pretty so we're going to uh, have some fun with those shimmers. Why not? And uh, I guess what I should do is put some glitter primer down on this blue that I've, I've just sent, set over that um, eyeshadow primer. So, question is, where, uh, where has our glitter primer disappeared to? Found the glitter primer, so let's set some down. Okay, I set some of the glitter primer down, tapped it out, and uh, grabbed my Kaleidos packing brush. And let's see what this green looks like once we start setting it down. That looks pretty intense. Okay, I'm going to color switch my brush, but that looks pretty pretty vivid uh, now I'm gonna try the blue color psychic that looks really nice I have to say I think though actually I'm gonna take some of this color which is called romantic it looks a little weird in the palette i think it's really more of a copper shade i'm gonna put that in the inside of the lid because i think it's a little bit more shiny and reflective it's a little weird feeling in the pan it's got sort of like a a waxy feel to it. it it doesn't feel like the other two shimmers that I, I just put on the lid so I'm just gonna try something I'm taking a spoolie and sort of scraping some of it up it's not really it's not really doing too much it looks nice when I pick it up, but I'm not seeing much of it when I put it on the eye. It's a little, it's a little strange. Now, I wish it was just a little bit more reflective, but um, eh, what, what can you do? I just have to sort of uh, clean up the outer edge and uh, probably do some uh, black liner and um, same on the other side, and then we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So uh, I did both eyes. I did a little liner work. I actually went into my uh, BH Cosmetic Blacklight Highlight Palette, and I used a little bit of the uh, the blue highlight, and uh, which is called uh, Queen, and uh, some of this highlight 
strobe. I just went over some of the blue, like towards the inner eye. I just felt it needed a, a little bit more pop, and especially this color strobe. I mean, that highlight is, that is one of the most intense highlights that I have in my collection. It's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful highlight. Just look at that, look at that. And uh, you know, you can put that over any thing really to like give it a little oomph. And uh, I think that's what it did. Um, so we've just got to do the under eye and um, nothing really too crazy. I think I'm just going to go in with um, some of the same colors that I did on top. I'm going to go into the Capricorn palette for a little bit of that color worldly with some darkness right at the outside edge just like that. That worldly color, it works really great with the Pisces palette to give you some nice depth. And now I'm going to go into the color Neptune from the Pisces palette, that really nice teal color. And some of Mysterious. The shadows are a little bit powdery, like I'm, as I'm putting them down, I'm seeing smoke drifting up, but, you know, it is what it is. And some of, what is that, gentle, right there. Um, just going to put some more of them down. Blend them into each other. And uh, that's pretty much all I want to do with that. I'm going to try because it says that this stuff is waterproof. I want to try putting it in the waterline and see how it works. Is that a crazy idea? I don't know. But we're going to try. We're going to try. I don't think we have really anything to lose. And this stuff is, it's sort of, mind my wrist, I've got so many things on it. It's, just comes out of the tube. It's pretty, it's pretty thick. You don't need a lot. And I'm just going to take some of it on this little angled brush. Oh. If you have watery eyes like me, this is a good trick. Take a clean Q-tip and just go over your waterline before you put something down on it. And Usually I use my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil or I have an Inglot White Gel Liner but nothing ever seems to last in my waterline. I, I don't know. My eyes are very watery. It's just, just the way I'm built I guess. So. Well, it looks really nice and white. Hmm. It looks really nice. I don't know if it's going to last. So, <laughs> we'll see as we go through uh, the rest of the drag process. But so far, so good. Okay, so I have to do the same on the other side. And uh, probably going to take a break for lunch. Uh, come back, finish up the whole look. And... Uh, be back with a completed Pisces themed drag look. Stay tuned. And we're back and here it is my Pisces inspired drag look. What do you all think? 
Well now, what did I do to complete the look when I went off camera? Obviously there is the, as I always say, the standard drag contouring and highlighting. For blush, we use my Holy Grail, my Chaotic Cosmetics Bang & Blush palette, and my favorite color, of course, is Guilty, but I thought that sort of a corally color went good with the uh, Pisces theme, because, you know, coral comes from the ocean, and Pisces or the fish, so you know, it made sense to me. For highlight, I went back into my BH Cosmetics Black Light palette, and I uh, used the color strobe just just a little 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 bit right at the tippy top of the cheekbone uh, i love this blush palette I, I i forgot how much i love this blush palette especially this color strobe look at that look at that blinding blinding beautiful so for lip i wanted a sort of a, a nude coral kind of a color so i used my ofra miami fever uh i think i got this in a boxy charm and i have to say it's it's kind of drying up. I, I love the color, but um, I, I fear if I don't use it uh, all up quickly, there won't be anything left in it, but what can you do? And something I'm trying out, uh, very new to me, uh, I got these glitter eyelashes. Uh, I found them on AliExpress, and uh, I thought we would, you know, throw these on, see how they look. I'm not sure about them yet, I think if I am going to wear them again in the future, I would have to do a very, very heavy black wing so I can angle them up a little bit more. I think they just make my eyes look a little bit droopy. And when it comes to drag, we want everything to look very snatched and everything sort of going like that. At least that's what I like to do. They're beautiful. They're very glittery and, and sparkly. Um... But I'm just not sure if I'm getting the exact effect that I want from them. I think if I had a very, very uh, thick, heavy black wing and I could sort of um, put them on and sort of angle them a little bit higher and uh, pointing upwards at the ends a little bit more, I think I'd be happier with them. But um, they, re they really are quite beautiful, so I, I hope they're showing up on camera the way they are in uh, in my mirror. So now my thoughts on this little perceptive Pisces palette from She Glam. I really like the palette. It's got a, uh, a beautiful teal oceanic color story to it. The only thing I didn't like about it was I just felt it did not have enough depth for uh, a complete drag look for me, um, which is why I jumped into the Capricorn and I used some of the color Worldly there and that really worked nicely to deepen up uh, the colors of the Pisces palette so um, you know th th there are worse things I guess I mean you could just use a black too everybody has black eyeshadow or even even a, a dark brown could work to deepen up a look with this palette and of course I'm approaching it from the stance that I'm trying to create a drag look, which is very specific. Uh, I think as far as somebody using it for everyday looks, um, you could probably have a lot of fun with it. You could create some really nice everyday wearable looks with it. For drag though, it only works uh, in combination with me using some other things. Like I also needed to use the uh, BH Cosmetics highlight palette for a little bit more sparkle. The shimmers are, are, are nice, but they're just a little, they're not as sparkly and as like really uh, glowy as, as I prefer a shimmer to be. They're just sort of a, a, a nice shimmer. It's a, it's a nice shimmer. Okay. It's, it's a, it's a nice shimmer. It's not like a, you know, pow, bam, in your face kind of shimmer, which is, you know, what I like because usually when I'm putting a shimmer on, I needed to do that because I'm going to be on stage. As I said, though, it's a nice palette. It's it's a it's a very decent palette, uh, good quality, very affordable, and uh, if you did get it, I think you'd be happy with it. Of course, is it drag worthy? Mm, not really, because it it 
it doesn't work completely on its own to create a drag look. Um, but but it is Tony Home Perm approved. I think if you if you added it to your collection, you'd be happy. Now. If you like this video, then please hit the like button down below. And as long as you're clicking on the like button down there, I mean, it's so close. Just, you know, move the cursor over a little bit, click the subscribe and the notification bell. I mean, it's just another two clicks. I mean, really, would it kill you to do it? You can always catch me on my weekly podcast, God Will Get You For That, Walter, which is the show I do with Tom Cat. We review episodes of the 1970s sitcom Maud, which starred B. Arthur, and we talk about how things were in the 1970s, how things have stayed the same, and how things have changed. There's also my internet variety show, Naughty or Nice, that I do with the horror diva Alexis Flame. We have a line of merchandise for Naughty or Nice, including the Naughty or Nice eyeshadow palette. The details for all of these things and everywhere to find me on social media, all of that is listed down below. Well, kids, that's all I have for you today. Here is my Pisces-themed drag look that I used using, for the most part, the She Glam Perceptive Pisces palette, and I had a lot of fun with it, and uh, I like how the look came out. I don't know if I would perform in this look, but uh, I think as far as uh, today's video, I like how it looks, so I'm happy. So thank you for tuning into my channel. And I can't wait to see all of you again in my next video. Bye-bye.